I've got a tradition of hiking in the Smokies the day after Christmas. Last year, I did Mount LeConte. It was the, it still remains the longest trip I've ever done with my large format gear. And when I got out of the car that morning, it was 24 degrees. Today, it is the day after Christmas. Don't have my camera with me this year, but uh, still making the hike. When I got out of the car, it was 72. So a nearly 50 degree temperature change. It is hot. Um, but if you're watching this in 2015, you'll remember a few weeks back, um, all the photography websites uh, were sh uh, had a link to the National Park Service advertising a large format photography job for the national parks. And tons of people posted this link to my timeline saying it was a perfect job for me and uh, actually legitimately applied for it because I've got three rules in life. Uh, rule number one, if an Arca Swiss camera becomes available, you definitely buy it. Rule number two, I don't remember. But rule number three, if a large format landscape photography job in the national parks is available, you apply for that job. So I did. Um, and I knew it wasn't as good as advertised. I mean, you can't just have a job going and shooting film in the national parks. And sure enough, on the job application, they asked all these different uh, questions about uh, how skilled you were, how qualified you were. And the answers ranged uh, one through five. One was no experience. Two was education, but no experience. Three was experience supervised. Uh, four uh, was unsupervised experience. And five was considered an expert in the field. Anyway, those questions, I had to answer one on nearly all of them because they were all just horrible things like, uh, do you have experience transferring drawings to digital media? Uh, what is your experience in architectural photography? So. It wasn't the job that uh, the link made it sound like it would be, which I knew it wouldn't be. Nothing uh, that good comes around. But it got me started thinking about landscape photography jobs. And I mean, you look in even Ansel Adams, he didn't support himself just going and shooting large format in the national parks. When you read about him, uh, that was more or less his side job. He uh, shot commercial work for Kodak later in his life. He worked for Polaroid. So Even he couldn't do it and if Ansel couldn't do it. I certainly can't do it and I think there are Very few people who get by just shooting and selling prints uh, I think and I have no data to support this but the main job in landscape photography is something like this you sell a few prints lead workshops where you do Skype sessions. Um, workshops, uh, not my favorite, I've been on one, um, but when I'm out in nature, I don't like to be hiking at the rate of other people. Uh, that sounds bad, but it's true. Um, and furthermore, you don't want me to lead your landscape workshop. Um, 12 people paying me tons of money and me saying, well guys, we're gonna sit on this shot for a couple of hours. It may or may not work out. Let me have your money. Uh, I'll be a horrible workshop leader. Uh, Skype sessions. You don't want me to be your Skype session director either. Um, I, I know not much about processing. In fact, I'll give you my entire Skype session here. Once you've scanned your film, clean out the dust in Photoshop, open it, uh, open some curves layers to get your brightness and contrast correct, uh, mask out hue and saturation layer to take care of any color cast in the water, and sharpen it. That would pretty much be my Skype spiel. So being a landscape photographer by today's terms would not be my ideal job. So I start thinking, you know, what is my ideal job in landscape photography? And the more I think about it, I'm pretty much living my ideal job in landscape photography. What I mean by that is 
right now I get to take photos basically whenever I want. I'm self-employed and within reason I can take off whenever I want and go on trips. I'm a little bit limited right now just having young children. I don't feel like I can leave that often but you know ideally in a few years I'm going to add a getting out maybe three or I hope four times. There's no stress in what I shoot. If I don't take a picture during the day I don't have to worry about paying the mortgage. Um, days like today where I don't bring my camera, I just hike and enjoy nature. I don't feel like I could do that if I was a full-time landscape photographer. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much living what I want to do. Uh, I would change the number of trips I take. Uh, I'll start adding to those in a year or two. Also, I'd like to start shooting eight by 10, but the way I travel right now makes that prohibitive. But uh, yeah, I probably won't get the National Parks landscape photographer job and that's okay because I'm really uh, living the dream, as they say. So um, yeah, that's my ideal landscape photographer job. If you like this video, like this content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.